you touched on some of the benefits of nitric oxide. Can you go into a little bit more depth on, on what some of those benefits are and, and, uh, and, and how they can, can benefit us? Yeah, really, you know, and probably for the past 15 or 20 years, we thought the first manifestation of nitric oxide deficiency or insufficiency would be high blood pressure. Because as you recognize, if it's the main molecule responsible for maintaining normal blood pressure when you lose nitric oxide production, really the first response would be high blood pressure. In fact, that's still true in most cases. Uh, but we see uh, problems in insulin signaling. So when your beta cells and your pancreas secrete insulin, nitric oxide is requisite for that insulin to signal the, the cells to take up glucose, uh, to have a glute forward translocation to take up the glucose from the, from the circulation. So without nitric oxide, then people become insulin resistant and you develop type 2 diabetes. Uh, but really, probably the first manifestation of nitric oxide insufficiency, what we're finding is in erectile dysfunction. Because what we're finding is ED is really a vascular problem. So when your mm -hmm. cells can't make nitric oxide to dilate the vessel to accommodate more uh, blood flow, such as happens during an erection, then you don't get an erection or you have a poor erection. So really, that's really the first manifestation of what we think is the first signs of nitric oxide insufficiency. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, it's not so taboo to talk about it anymore. So you know, it's important that the patients uh, can, can uh, uh, consult with their physician, let them know that, because really it's a, a symptom of a more serious underlying problem.